When it comes to free spreadsheet creation, you can't do much better than Google Sheets. While it might not be as powerful as Excel, it's a fantastic option for anyone who needs basic spreadsheet tools, and it makes it easy to collaborate with any other Google user. If you're trying to calculate the days between two dates, Sheets makes it easy with some simple formulas. Let's take a look at how. The easiest way to tell the amount of days between two dates is to use a minus function built into Sheets. To do this, open your spreadsheet and make sure the two days are in two columns. Let's say B3 and C3. We put April 5th in one spot and May 15th in another. Now select cell D3 and click on the function bar at the top of the page. Then enter equals minus C3 B3 and press enter. As always, you can find our formulas linked in the description below. Once you've entered your data, Sheets will return the value of 40, which of course is the amount of days between those two dates. That's easy enough, and it makes it simple to keep track of vacation or work days, the length of your school semester, or the amount of time in a pay quarter. You can even simplify this method by entering equal sign B3 minus C3, which gives you the same result. If you're looking to calculate months and years in addition to days, you can use the date difference formula to determine the amount of time between two dates. Using the same example as before, enter equals date diff, and then your cell numbers, followed by one of three units. D allows you to calculate days, M calculates months, and Y calculates years. Hit enter, and depending on the unit you used, you'll see the difference between your time. Finally, the net workday function allows you to calculate weekdays between days, removing weekends from the count. Using the same example as before, enter equals net workdays, followed by your cell numbers. In this example, 29 is returned, which means there were 29 standard workdays between these two days. If needed, you can also specify holidays by adding a third coordinate to your list and inputting the cell number into the formula. So, if we put April 22nd in A3 and added that to our formula, our new workday result is 28. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure to check out these other videos you might like and subscribe to Tech Junkie for all sorts of tech news, reviews, and top picks every week.